Writing books by hand. A few lessons ago, we learned that the years after the fall of Rome are called the Middle Ages, and that in England, these years are also known as the Dark Ages. Do you remember why we call this time the Dark Ages? Most people in England couldn't read or write, so they didn't write down stories and histories. When Augustine and his companions came to England, they told the Anglo Saxons about Christianity, but they also taught them how to read and write. They wanted these new Christians to be able to read the Bible. Monks in monasteries also thought that reading and writing were important. After all, they spent a large part of every day reading the Bible. And books written by religious men. But back in the Dark Ages, books weren't as easy to make as they are today. Bookmaking was a long, complicated process, and only the monks were skilled enough to make beautiful books. In the Dark Ages, you couldn't just go to a store and buy paper, so the monks began by making a special paper called parchment out of animal skin. They put cow or sheep skins in running water, such as a stream or river. For several days. Then they soaked it again in a barrel filled with water and lime, a chemical that loosened the hair on the skin, for several days more. Finally, they would stretch out the skin, scrape the hair off with a knife, and then attach it to a frame so that it could dry. But that wasn't all. Once the skin was dried, the monks would take it off the frame, wet it again, and rub it with a rough stone. One medieval book tells us that the best way to wet the skin was to take a mouthful of beer and then spit the beer all over the skin. When the skin had been dried all over again, it was time to make the ink by mixing soot with water and the sap of trees. The monk had to prepare quill pens by pulling feathers out of a goose or swan's wing, soaking the feathers in water, and scraping the tips. Then the parchment had to be cut into rectangles, folded over to make pages, and stitched together to make booklets. Finally, it was time to write out the words. All books were written out by hand. The monks worked all day in special rooms called scriptoriums. They made copies of the Bible and other important books by copying them out one letter at a time. Each letter was carefully written in the monks' best handwriting. The books copied by the monks weren't just black letters on white pages. The monks decorated the pages of their books with beautiful colors. They made paints by mixing their colors with egg whites, often real gold and silver, beaten into sheets so thin that they could float on the air, were attached to the page as part of the picture. Sometimes a picture took up an entire page. Sometimes it was painted just in the margin or at the top of a page. And sometimes just the first letter on a page was painted and leafed with gold. Writing out long books by hand was hard, slow work. An expert monk might copy out two or three books in a year, working eight hours every day. So there weren't very many books in the Middle Ages. And books. Were valuable. After all, they took months of labor. Often, books were chained onto library shelves so that people could only read them standing up, and you certainly couldn't check them out. Monks weren't supposed to talk in the scriptorium. They were supposed to pay close attention to what they were doing. But monks got bored. We can still read some of the books written by hand in the Middle Ages, and we can see that sometimes monks wrote messages to each other. And even drew silly pictures in the margins of their books. I'm cold, one monk wrote. I wish we had a bigger fire, but Brother John won't let us. Another monk wrote, I wish I were finished. I have to go to the bathroom. And a third monk drew a little mouse on the edge of his book and wrote, Curse that mouse! Maybe the mouse had stolen some of his dinner.